Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Tuesday, December 9th. And these are the charts of the day, and it was an interesting, really strong snapback rally, one of the best I've seen in a while. The NASDAQ 100 alone up about 85 points off the low, intraday alone. I'm closing near the high for the day. That's about as good as it gets. So, um, And a lot of the stocks that we follow and our swing trades, and we're going to cover a few of them, um, Acted great today. It, it, even some of the beaten down biotechs of, of late in the last day or two that got, got a little dicey there, uh, snapped back beautifully. Take a look at Achillean, for example. After reaching 1531 yesterday morning, today's morning was down at 1288 before reversing the close at 1412, up 64 cents or almost 5%. 3.4 million, not a lot of volume, but I like the fact that it came down uh, and the volume wasn't too heavy and it rallied rather nicely. Here's the close-up. You can see the reversal off the prior high, the hold and reversal here. Today's low is very important. Keep an eye on 1288. This low here would get me out on the 1215. There is a 50-day moving average around 1185, but can't let it go all the way back down there. This needs to hold and go. My target still, if it gets to the 1530 area, is going to be up around 18. B, well, almost there, folks. We had an $11 target. 11.12 uh, zone, and we hit 10.70 today, within right 30 cents. Closed up nicely off the low, 10.15 low, 10.68 close on 42 cents or 4%. Fine wasn't exceptionally heavy, but not bad. And you can see this base breakout wedge and an explosive move, very nice one, from about the $8 range up to nearly 11. And that'll be our swing trade if we can get it up there. Cyber, really nice reversal. 36 to 40.95, closing 4 cents off the high up, 276. Doesn't get much better than that. Now, it did come down and nearly fill this gap completely. Right there. See it? So, we, um, you know, it didn't hold the ideal level I wanted it to hold. But, uh, again, they took out some weak hands, tested the 50 and the trend line, and reversed. If we can get up to the declining top line tomorrow, I would expect that Cyber could get as high as 43. Uh, maybe tomorrow. And then, uh, going forward, the swing trade's 47. And upwards of 50. Caesar as well, a beautiful, nice orderly pullback over the last couple weeks. Forming a nice flag, low volume today. Reversed from 1487 to close at 1562 of 44 cents or nearly 3% and nearly a million. So good volume, but we've got to get the breakout. Let's see if we can get, I'd be very happy with a move through 1610. That'll get me thinking we're on our way back up towards mid-channel, maybe even as high as 20. Don't give up the ship on this one just yet. Key support now, 14, 14, 15 range. Lamel, another biotech with a big reversal day, getting down to $14.43, closing $2.26 off that low, up $0.45 cents on the day after being down $1.75. Big reversal. Look where it reversed off of, right off this spike high here. For me, a very important day for Flamel. Taking a look at the channel up, if that is the channel, and this is a um, potential channel peak up here. We could spike up through and get up towards 20, my next target. GRBK acting very well up another quarter. It was up a lot more than that. I, well, I was up about 40, 45 cents and backed off. But where did it back off of? Right near the prior high of 904, reaching 899 within a nickel of that area before backing off. Net, nevertheless, still up almost 3% today. Buying picked up a little bit, less than about seven sessions, 282,000. So we may be starting to see the beginning of a move that takes us up to 10 and a half, 11 maybe as high as 12 and a half, 13. We'll keep an eye on the stock going forward, of course. Looking good. Groupon also came down at a 50, the bottom of the channel. And although it did get below this line yesterday, it reversed right back up today. Let's see if that can carry it forward. Still liking the overall pattern and the structure. As long as it does not break below 695, I'll be happy about this one. INFY. Well, we put a swing on it up here. It didn't work well as it drifted below and then re retested here. Since then, it's moved nicely from 11 and a half to 17 to and a quarter. And this high here today, this nominal new high at 1730, is the highest level since December, almost 52 week high. I'm, I'm thinking at this point that maybe what's in play here is this line up there. Now we're headed up towards 22. Stay tuned, it should be interesting. MAC up 45 cents or almost 5% today. <clears throat> the key being it closed at its highest closing level quite a while. 
since way back here in 2012, a couple years now. <clears throat> so if we can get up through the spike high of 1111, and that would be my near-term target up there, we may as well see 12 and a half. NLNK, one of our swing trades, acting well. You can see the multiple session highs in this range and the lows. Look where it came off of today. Reaching as low as 35, closing at 38.29. A beautiful reversal. If we can get some more volume and take this definitively above 39, 39 and a quarter, we may very well test the double top at 42. The next target is 46.7. Royal Gold, well, I'm liking the way the uh, majors are holding, are holding and forming head and shoulder type bottoms. Today it popped out of this wedge. Didn't quite get, of course, through the 7280 area, but it did get up to 7180 and uh, backed off a little bit. Still up 346 or 5%, more than a million traded, the best volume in about six sessions. So the odds are good we get a move up through here and reach 77, my next target. Regulus. Well, I'm redrawing the channel. I'm redrawing the pattern the way I think it could be. Looks like a big wedge. Recently, slow little drift here and then today the reversal from 1581 to 1707 closing up 74 cents at four and a half percent if we can get a little follow-through we we'll need this to get above say 18 that'll trigger i think a move to test 20 and beyond 20 is where it rocks but for now let's see what we can do with that i think that it's time is due for a major move coming up soon silver wheaton similar to royal gold my favorite larger silver company is consolidating today it popped up above the um, triple top so I put out a little swing on it and backed off but still up 73 cents or three and a half percent if we can get a follow-through I'm looking for 24 maybe 25 and a half and secondary target here 27 and a half maybe 28 SUNE big reversal as it got down there the trend line at 1853 to and then closed at 2003 big reversal there up only a couple of percent but 14 million traded the biggest volume in a couple of weeks. If that's the case, today's low is key. I don't want this under 18 and a half because it could be vulnerable down towards the 15, 16 range. But I'd like to see if this is wave one, two, three, and four, a fifth wave take us up near 25, 26. And lastly is Zaltique, one of our swing trades that's been consolidating beautifully and holding support. Here's a key level 25 below that. You could stop it. Uh, but I'm thinking the stock is going to make a run at 29. 29.40. And once we get through that area, mid channel around 33 and a half could be had. Stay tuned, everybody. That's one, that's one of the ones looking good as well. That's it for tonight. Talk to you in the room tomorrow. Good night.